of recorded history and 2005, roughly five exabytes of data and information were captured. Every 48 hours, we now create and capture five exabytes of information. Every two days, we create and capture the amount of information that existed for 4,000 years in recorded. Does anyone else feel like their inbox is getting a wee bit full? By the time Ivana wakes up, she is receiving 10 emails per minute from people she's never met before offering to help. And I don't mean just like, oh, like help, help, you want it like a high five and a hug. Help, help. Someone has, I kid you not, someone has found Sasha's address, driven past her house, videotaped it and uploaded the tape to the internet with a note that says, this is the address. I told you, the wrong of phones to steal, right? Journalist in the New York Times gets in touch, says, this looks interesting, front page in the New York Times Online, picture of Sasha, headline, crime in New York. But they're all, they're all British now, crime in New York, right? It launches a chain of events that honestly has redefined the way I have looked at workflow and the workplace um, and forms the basis actually of I think the future of the workplace and the future of collaboration. What you've got in that Ivana story is a whole lot of people with disparate varying, almost non-overlapping areas of expertise, almost non-overlapping spheres of influence, coming together, no one's getting paid or managed by the way, but coming together and chipping in what they know and what they can do at the right time in the process to help achieve a collective outcome. If someone asked me to sum up the office of the future in two words, I'd say that's it, it's disorganized collaboration. How did Sony manage to not invent the iPod? What did Sony own at the turn of the century? The Walkman, absolutely. My parents have told me about them. They were this big and you carried them around here. Ah, come on. What else do they own? Everything is a correct answer, by the way, to this question, right? Music, they own distribution. You could walk into a Sony store and buy music. They had distribution channels, distribution partners. Every, every single piece of the iPod puzzle, puzzle was owned by Sony. Peter Gruber, who's the ex-vice president of Sony Pictures, was asked specifically, Peter, how did you manage to miss the iPod? And what he says is, we wish we invented the iPod. He said, the reason we missed it, these were in his words, is that we were so deep in the silos, we were so deep. Yeah, we owned everything on earth, but pictures, didn't talk to music, didn't talk to digital distribution, didn't talk to home electronics. We were so deep in the silos, we missed the innovation that sat in what he called the white space, the money in the cracks, the gap between the silos. Like, I, if we all knew what we all knew as a business, we would be un stoppable but we can't do that unless we capture all the information of value and then give people access to it we need to find ways to create organizational value from individual brilliance capture access leverage is about transcending traditional business units traditional geographical units traditional silos and about not about doing away with them right because they're there for management reasons and they lower the cost of operations so it's not about destroying the business model it's about overlaying on top of the business model an information architecture that lets people capture access and leverage information. <music> 740 million people have done it with their social stuff on Facebook. If it was a country, it would be the fifth largest by population in the world. Um, it also be a very young country uh, full of people I don't trust to run a bath, let alone... Um, <laughs> We'll let alone a country, that's a story for another day. So leveraging semantic technologies, in this one office now, every document that's created and every, every instant message that's sent is recorded it's analyzed by semantic systems that look for meaning in the document and they apply tags and labels. And then when you're working in real time, your computer is looking at what you're writing and it's checking it against things that other people have been working on to put in your way things that will help. 
Oh, you're writing a document on an airline pitch? Have you considered chatting to Jake? He's done the same thing recently. Oh, you're writing a new systems document. You know, we just created one in London. Like, this, this could really help. It's, and it's taking people out. So when I talk about the funky fringe, um, that's not just cute, cool stuff. Right, you're talking about saving, optimizing businesses to the tune of tens to hundreds of 